so this whole video i realized i never introed it so this is me introing it while i edit so so for today's video it's going to be a errand day you can run errands with me and basically my errands were supposed to be not to spend too much money and to take things back and to do grown-up stuff but instead i shopped so hope you enjoy having a little shop day with me that's basically what it turned into with a shop day and like 10 percent of an errand day so yeah let's get into the video Y'all, the way the line in there was too much. We're gonna go to Jamax, and if they don't have anything, then we're just gonna go to Barnes and Noble because I wanna go get a book. So, Dollar Tree stuff is all I got. Oh my God, look at this heart pillow. Oh my God, it's so cute. It's seventeen dollars. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love it. Did I get it? No way. I don't need a pillow. This is so cute. They also have just a solid pink one, and they're both, oh my god, they're so cute, but I have a twin-size bed. Like, logically, a twin-size bed, but even one of those pillows, like, it's a little smaller. Maybe Target is a smaller one. Let's go to Target. Okay, so, um, I spent $45 in there, which is about how much I spend in, um, Marshall to J Max anyway. J Max had a long line, but like when I went in, it was really short. And then went in there for a few minutes, and it got long as hell. So I was considering taking the bus to Barnes and Noble, but I'm only at like 2,800 steps. So we're gonna we're gonna walk. It's not far. It'll take me about 10, 15 minutes to walk there. So. Let's go and hope that being in the Montrose area means I, well, I was going to say means I won't get robbed, but mm, very popular to get robbed in Midtown. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have a Caesar salad with salmon, potato soup, got my new book, and some more water. We're just gonna chill.
Hey y'all, so it's the next day and it's late the next day. It's like almost seven o'clock, it's 6.54. And I was supposed to do a haul earlier today, but I woke up late, which is not good because school just started. But I'm gonna go through a little haul with you guys. Some stuff is boring, some stuff is fun. We're gonna get the boring stuff out of the way right now. So the first thing I got was from TJ Maxx. I'll go in order of the store that I went to. Wait, this is not in order, I lied. I went to the dollar store first. Whatever, we're not going in order. TJ Maxx. They had a two set of these, um, like, scrubbing mittens that you buy. Um, I have multiple pairs, but they're all dirty. And I was just like, I probably don't need a new set. But I bought the old set really long a really long time ago. So I bought a set of two. Came in white and blue. Also for TJ Maxx, which is really the reason why I went, is to get my skinny caramel um, syrup for my coffee. I never buy them like multiple in multiples when I know I should because I run out of this so fast. So I just get the caramel one. I've tried mocha and salted caramel and stuff, but I have always just go back to caramel. Ignore this wet sweater. I'm it's so short like when I move my hands out it kind of stops right here but I like long arms so I keep doing this it's not working out just ignore it and honestly it doesn't fit me that great so just ignore it this is old and well not old but still the next things I got from TJ Maxx is this hair product this is the Curls of Bee Defined Curl Defining Gel. I'm actually wearing it right now in my hair. I swear I bought something else in TJ Maxx. Oh, okay. So I bought like a big bottle of Aunt Jackie's So Clean um, shampoo. I'll put a picture in because I don't feel like going to the bathroom to get it. I think that's it for TJ Maxx. I don't think I got that many things from TJ Maxx, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, no, I lied. One second. This satchel I had to show you. It's so cute. I've been wanting a new satchel for a minute, and it's this cute little pink one. It was, um, like, super on sale, because, you know, being a TJ Maxx is already on sale, but it had a red tag, and it was $10. Jackie, no. 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 Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, it's just a cute little satchel and I love that it's plain and it's pink. I've I'm, I've been buying a lot of pink stuff recently and if you knew me as a kid, I hated the color pink. Now that I'm an adult, I really like pink. Not gonna lie. Okay, that was the end of TJ Maxx. Now for the dollar store. So, in a second, I'm going to show you me do this, but I bought a whole bunch of frames because up here where all the pictures are, I kind of want them inside of frames. And I've been wanting that for a minute. I think I might have two bigger frames, but it's okay. They'll just have a white background, like a white border, I mean, um, on them. And I want them to look really vintage -y. So I got four black ones and two gold ones. I don't, do I need this many? Four? Before I need eight, actually. So I need more than this, but whatever. We'll figure it out. This is a reminder. Okay, um, also from the dollar store. I really wanted Valentine's Day stuff. So look at this cute little box. I just like filled it up with a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that is on my, um, what do you call it? My desk. Or the dollar 25 store, dollar 25 store. I gotta be correct. But um, yeah, it was dollar twenty five. So cute. I kind of wish I would have gotten the other one. It didn't look like this. It was a little bit different. But you probably saw it in the vlog. So I just put a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here. The next thing I got. Let me take off my jewelry. Oof, excuse me. Are these two cute little heart stands? They're so adorable. They had a white one, but I didn't get it. I kind of wish I would have gotten more. <sighs> anyway, I kind of wish I would have gotten more to put around. I wish I would have gotten more. I may go back for more. Hopefully they're still there. 
but these were the highlights of my purchases. Was it red, pink, or pink, red? I don't know. It's gonna be pink, red, pink, regardless of how it was. Boring stuff that I bought from the dollar store. I got my nephew a sippy cup, and it's really cute. It has dinosaurs on it, and it just pops this open. And I like that because it's gonna be hard for him to open, meaning he won't just be opening it and closing it and driving me insane, or opening and closing it to pour stuff out. Another boring thing I bought, I had some sponges and then I bought um, baby wipes that are like the Fisher Price baby wipes. I don't know where those are. At, at this point, I didn't even buy them. I think that's all I bought from a dollar store. I don't remember to be honest, which is not good. So I do have my receipt with me, so I could just look, but I don't feel like it. I'm doing that either. Let's move on to Target. No, I went to Barnes & Noble, let's go to Barnes & Noble. So, I went there. I went there looking for um, Lily King's Love and Writers, Lovers and Writers, but I didn't have it. So I got her five thir What is wrong with me? Five Tuesdays in winter. This is a collection of short stories. Uh, I wanted Writers and Lovers, but it's okay. Um, I like the cover too. I think her cover was so pretty. And then I got, um, it's called Tokyo Uno Station. I don't know if I said that right, by Yumiri. I'll read you guys the back. It says, it's a real moving story of a homeless ghost who haunts one of Tokyo's busiest train stations. Kazu is dead, but through his eyes, we see daily life in Tokyo buzz around him and learn the intimate details of his story. How society's inequalities and construction spiraled toward his ghostly fate with moments of beauty and grace just out of reach. Born the same year as a Japanese emperor, Kazu's life was tied by a series of coincidences to the imperial family and shaped at every turn by modern Japanese history. But he always experienced bad luck and loss, and now in death, he finds himself unable to rest, doomed to haunt the park near Uno Station in Tokyo. A powerful masterwork from one of Japan's most brilliant outsider writers. Tokyo Uno Station is a book for our times and a look into quite and a look into a quiet yet illuminating, devastating and essential existence in a shiny global me mega English major, mind you. Um also I've started reading this and I'm in love with it. And also I just love this cover art. I think it's gorgeous, so I'm really excited about both of those. Okay, last place I went is Target. For the most part, my whole point of going to Target was to return stuff, which ended up being a big hassle because apparently they couldn't find, like I kept on saying that I didn't buy it from there and I kept showing them a receipt, had the same number, like, um, it had the same ID number or whatever, the product number. And this girl was really trying not to give me a refund. Mind you, it was going to my Target credit card. And so she was like, well, you know, if you don't mind, I guess I can give you store credit. And I was just like, I, I literally told her, I was like, well, it was being refunded to a credit card that could only be used at Target. So yes, I'm fine with it being store credit. Give me back my $40. That's why I was there. I was there. I returned it. <laughs> So from Target, I needed some new leave-in and when I first went natural, I tried this and I didn't like it. Um, but my hair was half relaxed, so I thought maybe if I try it now, I'd like it. My hair had this in it and when I tell you, I love this stuff. I love this stuff. This is the As I Am Classic Leave-In Conditioner with extracts of coconut, alma, sugar beetroot, green tea, lemon, apple, sugar cane, fitesterols. I don't know what that word was. It also smells really nice. I feel like it smells clean and I like that. And it's in my hair right now. The next thing I got from Target is this Tree Hut Coco Colada Shea Butter. And it's a body butter. And honestly, it smells really good. If you can kind of see, I'll show you how thick it is. It's not as thick as I feel like I like shea butter mixtures. I like it a little bit thicker, but it's still fine. I use it today after my shower. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Love it. I know they have like the watermelon scrub and I really wanted to try it because people love it. 
to me it was too much it smelled like bubble gum and i couldn't do it next thing i got from target is i want to have my own little valentine's day okay i ain't got no boo but that don't mean i can't like give myself some tender love and care so i thought this was so cute this is like you get to paint the little hearts so it comes with the hearts paintbrush and some paint then i bought these hot cocoa spoons I love hot chocolate i'm not into fancy hot chocolate though um I, I, and some of them are pink and i'm worried it might be raspberry flavored but hey try something new so i got some things for myself for valentine's day these next two things are my favorite purchases of yesterday i've been dying for some olive green cargo pants look at these they're so cute. I'm not standing up enough to um, show you, but they're the Wild Fable brand. I got them in an XXL, so if you have a body type like mine, I weigh 212, and by around, I am a 43D, and then my thighs are like a, pretty similar, like a 42. Um, so I wear XXL, and this was $28. These look so good on me. The only downside is, is that my waist is smaller than the rest of my body. So it is a little bit big in the waist, but I'll just restitch it. And it's not by a lot. Like I'll be stitching barely an inch. And the last thing I got were these super cute slides. I've been wearing them ever since yesterday and I just love them so much. I couldn't pass them up. They were $15. I sized up and got a size nine uh because i normally wear eight and a half but i didn't want to go down so and the only other thing i got was i got a box of candy i'm gonna have a chocolate for my grandmother for valentine's day as i was doing a haul for her i realized it was in there and she wanted them now so she ate them <laughs> so that was her little valentine's day gift that she got later so that's it that's all i got from my shopping day i think it was actually really successful of a shopping day so anyway yeah that's it i think i'm gonna end the vlog here so this is the end goodbye and i hope to see you guys in another vlog where i'm i think i'm gonna see you guys again sunday because i want to get out of this artist block slash burnout i've been in so i think i'm gonna go to buffalo bayou park and i think i'm gonna go uh, do plein air painting and just try and get out of this so yeah hope you enjoyed this video if you did go check out some of my other videos and i will get, see you guys in the next one bye